Okay, um, good morning. Uh, my name is Hank, uh, Hank Hoff, uh, and as you might know, uh, maybe have heard, uh, I'm not a native uh, US uh, person, um, and uh, well, you might want to guess where I'm from, but I don't do any kind of game here, so uh, you might want to check afterwards. Um, I see that I still have about 15 minutes left according to the program, so Steve, thank you very much. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's um, yeah, well friendly. It's, it's no tension at all, like uh, Steve uh, mentioned. So uh, 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 a little bit about the Street Map Foundation. Uh, you've seen a little bit about Steve, how the, how, uh, the project works and how, what the uh, interesting ideas are. Uh, but I'm just, uh, um, uh, and uh, well, references to uh, 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 potential tensions, and that's because there are no tensions at all. But still, I want to re really make kind of a disclaimer. Oop. Everything I'm going to say here is just plainly my personal opinion, and has nothing to do with the opinion of uh, the board. Well, that's it. Good project. So, uh, OpenStreetMap, um, it's, um, uh, uh, well, you, you know it. It's not really uh, rocket science, it's not completely new, it's just copied and pasted from the wiki. So it's not, not, nothing original here. But it's basically an, an initiative to create uh, and provide data. And uh, well, because we want to do all kinds of creative new kind of things, like blow our minds off of what you can do with data. Uh, and those are the, the, the really kind of interesting things, and, that's all, and that, that also might, uh, makes me want to participate in other treatment because I've seen so many cool things that I've never thought of before, what you can do with just data. But then the foundation. Uh, 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 you, but you can have a project, but then the foundation is, uh, there's also kind of copy paste, so it's nothing uh, really um, uh, fancy about this. But it is a kind of organization that needs to represent the, the, the project, because it is, it, it is nice to have some kind of a community project where lots of people all around the world do stuff, but then who is that community and how can I get in touch with them and if I want to ask things, how is it going? So that's basically also what we have the foundation for and well basically also Steve ran it in the first kind of years but then he figured out that he was at the end kind of personal responsible for everything that OpenStreetMap project did. Uh, so that was not really, really uh, sustainable, at least for his personal uh, risk management. Um, so we also got the, the foundation about that. So actually make and represent the, the, the project and just make it happen. Um, and the most interesting kind of thing in this whole thing here is that uh, the most discussion about this piece of text is about supporting but not controlling. That's not, that is, I think, uh, um, in principle, a little bit vague, but uh, that vagueness uh, causes a lot of discussion within um, the organization. So, not controlling. Now, this is the point where I need to say, this is my opinion, and I hope you all agree with me, but that's this kind of little kind of thing. Um, so, we're not controlling as a, as a foundation of what is going to be mapped. What do we want to put in our database? Uh, I have my personal opinions about it, but as personal opinions, uh, the, fo the foundation itself says, well, we have a database, put, please put, 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 put things in there uh, and make us proud, make us, well, do all kinds of things with it. And it's open, it's whatever you want it. And it's also not on how things are mapped, or a tagging scheme and that kind of thing, because we want to make it open, free, so we don't put any restrictions on what you can put in there and how you're going to represent it, because it is that, well, blow our minds off, make us happy, make us happy, and, 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 and do all kinds of things with it. And we don't want to restrict you in any way. Uh, and we're also not going to build apps. Uh, there's a whole lot of other kind of things we're not going to say how you need to be using them and what you can do because there are so many other people, you guys, that are creative enough in building your own ideas, uh, own problems that, that, that you have and create apps around it. And that makes it, and that makes it really easy. So that's not about controlling. So what are we doing? So we are supporting the project and well, we basically run the database. Uh, somebody needs to do it, well, we're happy to accommodate. Uh, so by servers and that kind of thing, keep it running, and uh, well, all the kind of standard logistics about it. But it's also the legal representation of the project. So all, all the license kind of things is done by the foundation itself. Why is that important? 
because uh, we want you guys as an I'm not now kind of seeing you as matters. I'm coming to that and I'll put another label on you later, but uh, I'm now seeing you as matters. Because you don't want to be involved with all kinds of legal issues that if you've mapped something and then a company or a uh, country is coming up, oh, you've mapped something completely illegal and you're responsible and you're going to get into put in jail and that kind of thing. No, we, want, we, we don't want to have that done and that kind of thing. So we are in uh, between. So actually, uh, if there's any problem with the map and the map uh, data, we as a foundation want to try and uh, uh, solve, uh, solve that so you guys can just do what you want to do, mapping. Uh, just publishing the data, so also again, licensing. Uh, promote OpenStreetMap, uh, well, yeah, uh, a numberator. And fundraising, because, well, servers, they do need to run their, their well, it's it's not that kind of, hip kind of thing like cloud that is powered by air. Uh, it's, uh, it is real, it is real bits and bytes, and it's real uh, neutrons and whatever kind of thing. So, yeah, it needs to be paid. So that's our right. um, thing. Um, uh, what we also said last year in uh, uh, in a board, like a mission, is that we said, well, OpenStreetMap, we want OpenStreetMap to be the most used map in the world. What do we don't want to have the most detailed kind of no, just the most used. So everybody, if you're going to think of, hey, gosh, I need a map, OpenStreetMap, that should be the first kind of idea that pops up. Like if you're going to look something, to look uh, something up. Most people think of, oh, Wikipedia. Or if you need to search something, oh, Bing. Ah, uh, no, wait, that was something new. Anyways, um, it's, um, uh, uh, um, uh, but, it's it, but in order to do that, you need to have a strong community. So strong kind of people here. So we also, yes, we need to cater those kind of things. We need to help people with making things happen. <coughs> but it's not only the uh, community. I've just made this as portfolio. But we need to have kind of showcase model. So we need to have the four squares, we need to have the Craigslist, we need to have all these other, other kind of companies and organizations using OpenStreetMap and making it see and feel that OpenStreetMap is a valid piece of data set, that it is valuable, that it is, that, that it actually can, can be used. And by having OpenStreetMap, by having Foursquare and those kind of organizations use OpenStreetMap, it also triggers uh, the community in doing more and doing better and creating and growing the uh, community itself. But last, also, we need to have an ecosystem around it of uh, organizations or um, uh, uh, things around how, how we can build on top of OpenStreetMap. And uh, not so much the uh, end user, but uh, we need to have a uh, set of uh, editors of, of maybe APIs and that kind of thing. In all kinds of ways, how you can use and create things with OpenStreetMap. So that's the, um, um, uh, oh, this is black, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, there it is. Um, so there, uh, there is now, and that's also one of the things that, that uh, Steve mentioned, there's a kind of tension. It's, you have mappers and the, I would just call appers, uh, the ones that you're going to use it. Uh, and there is that big, I, I would just say the big divide, because mappers, they just want to go map and do all kind of, kind of things and be completely free, open, and uh, don't want to be restricted in any, any kind of way of doing it. You can kind of compare it to Republicans. Um, and uh, on the other way, you have actors who just want to do something with it. Um, so they want to have a little bit more regulation uh, and to kind of, so you can see that as Democrats. Um, also, it's on the air in the US. I'm, 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 I hope I don't offend many people. So it's, so, you see that kind of divide there. You could start a used kind of debate um, with maybe a moderator there who's going to completely screw up and that kind of thing. But it's 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 a, those two kind of people, uh, are two two kind of groups. And the problem there is they they need each other. You can't have one without the other. If you have mappers, it's fun, but you're not going to map for nothing. And uh, so you need to have the appers actually make use of that data. But then the appers, they need to have the mappers there to actually provide or create more data and more interesting kind of stuff. But there is that divide. And then the role is getting, so, so where does the OpenStreetMap Foundation stand? Uh, and what, and what's the role? So that's also what's, what Steve said. Are, uh, are we talking about data or are we talking about the, uh, the community? 
And we have several kind of problems that we need to solve. Uh, um, well, it's this, this simple kind of thing. We need to make mapping easier. Uh, because we are sometimes, I've heard sometimes, we are having to get an expert track. Like, we all know how mapping works and uh, how things are done, and yes, we know, and uh, yes, we know it best, and that kind of thing. So, having all the John, the John and Jane those mapping without really knowledge about GIS system or geocamp system, ooh, that's a potential threat because they can break and, and they don't really do know what they're doing. That's exactly what uh, the guys from Esri and all those other, other people are saying. Well, there's kind of open street maps, ooh, they don't know what they're doing and they can't create anything uh, there. But we're potentially getting in the same trap of uh, really the ignorant, well, ignorant is maybe not the right word, but the, the John Doe's who we just go out there, but we need to give them tools to also make it work and make it happen that they can contribute in a maybe small way into a street map. Just adding POIs, or and not maybe the very structural kind of things, but it needs to be easier. But also making that more uh, useful. You've, you've, you've heard a big thing about addressing, but also about other kind of routing things as well. Um, but making that more robust. One of the biggest questions I get from organizations who want to use OpenStreetMap, can I trust that OpenStreetMap? Because it's open, uh, there's a lot of vandalism. Um, can you, can you uh, control that? And the bigger OpenStreetMap gets, and if it really gets that most used map, we will attract more people that want to somehow vandalize or other make a point out of it. So we need to find ways of doing that without uh, closing up the freedom because the freedom and the ability to do things is so powerful that I'll treat of it. But then how can how can we make that other kind of things easier? Uh, but then also, well, just making using of the treatment easier. So there is a data set, and if I have a website or whatever kind of thing, I want to use other treatment data, I need to be able to make it easy. I don't need to have hire a whole a whole lot of developers. How can I easily implement uh, something of the treatment? But there are also lots of opportunities there. So the the problem is cool. Uh, the, the the automotive industry they're really really very interested in OpenStreetMap, uh, and they have a lot of kind of interesting kind of things. Got governmental agencies also kind of looking for oh gosh it, it, it's an open free kind of thing. It is very powerful, and all those kind of other companies that seems are talking about. And the most probably, the, the most interesting kind of thing that they want to do is they want to share data. It's not that they only want to use it, but they also want to engage in making things better. We have data ourselves. How can we make things happen? How can we make make things better? So there might be a new kind of matters coming up. So the problem there is, what is our treatment map here? here. Uh, is that the Open Street Map Foundation, or should we have some kind of Open Street Map user consortium kind of thing that wants to do things? And uh, personally, I would see uh, the OpenStreetMap take that place in really engaging with companies to how we can work together with uh, that kind of thing. So that makes it that the OpenStreetMap Foundation is not only for the uh, community. Because OpenStreetMap has that big advantage. It is, it is open and it will stay open, no matter what. So if people say, oh, well, where's that big kind of thing that we're closing up and selling off? No, we won't. It's open, it will be open, and it uh, will be open in free. So that's also an advantage for people who want to use it. And we're growing. You can't say that for talent that's not that. We are growing daily. Look at the, how it matters. Look at the coverage that uh, we have. And also what uh, Steve said, there is a tilting point. If we have addressing at some level done, uh, well, uh, uh, we are the best map data provider available. And we still are. Right now, the only global independent map provider. All the other projects that are there to give free data, uh, data is fine, but we are the only global one. So if you want to have something outside your own town, uh, the other three members is the best thing to do. The problem here, I think, is also that we are kind of reactive kind of thing, or we do things and it's <coughs> done, it's, it's uh, people or things come, things, uh, come up, and uh, we act upon it. It's, um, we've seen, uh, like in some of the Apple kind of thing, oh cool, and, oh wait a minute, there's something on, and we, we get in contact with Apple and do stuff. Uh, but it, it would, wouldn't it be nice to be something more uh, uh, proactive, 
to get out to, co to organizations or other kind of people and talk with them and trying to make things right. So if they're going public and that kind of thing, so we can match them better. And if we can, uh, uh, so that they're not uh, be welcomed with all kinds of mumbling, uh, uh, you, should have done, uh, you, you uh, should have done this better, and that kind of thing. Because that's not the warm welcome that we all want in that uh, community. We'd like to people, like people to use OpenStreetMap, we'd like organizations to use, to use OpenStreetMap, and um, it's going to be tough, well, it's going to be fun to actually make it, uh, um, uh, to, to also make them feel welcome. And yes, you can help by doing that. Um, there are all kinds of working groups within the OpenStreetMap Foundation, so if you're bored with mapping and that, that kind of thing, and you would really want to do something with, uh, for the OpenStreetMap uh, Foundation, there are all kinds of working groups. These are the current ones that are there. Um, and there's one in the, uh, there's now kind of the, 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 the working title, like uh, the Welcoming Wagon Working Group. I think they're going to be called a little bit different. Uh, but there's also a working group on how can we welcome new new mappers and retain them and help uh, help them in, in, in learning open street map. Uh, so there are all kinds of other uh, working groups there and we need them and uh, we'd like to get you all involved in those uh, in those uh, working groups as well. Um, so yeah, I would say basically join. Um, uh, there are two sides of uh, oh, 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 foundational work but also get involved with OpenStreetMap here in the US and OpenStreetMap.us. Um, I'm getting a little bit uh, dry in my mouth, uh, but that's just kind of because I was speaking for uh, just a little time. Uh, just one kind of thing I want to leave you out with before uh, coffee time, um, and that's one of those things that I've, uh, it's a little, uh, uh, it's a little uh, a movie, I've tried it, and hopefully it works. Um, because of the internet connection, and I hope you haven't drowned the whole internet connection here by using all your whatever uh, things. Um, it's it's a little movie. I haven't made it. It's somebody else who did it, um, and it has something to do with Google Apps or Google Maps. It's also an interesting project, but it's more the message that is that it is kind of sending out. It's more of uh, its journey and. Uh, and it's not ending by your day work. It's dream on and, and see where you can, where you can find how you can, uh, uh, how you can uh, make things. Uh, let me see if this is really going to uh, work as well. Uh, there we go. Gosh, up there. I also need some sound here. So it's, it's a little bit about, um, I, I just love, if I'm just a little bit stressed, I just, walk, I, I just watch this kind of movie, and it's, uh, it's kind of leaking, and it's where I really hope, oh no, apparently the internet connection is a little bit uh, wonky. Um, but anyway, anyways, look up on video, you see it, and it's more of, of, of uh, whoops. I needed to download it, apparently. It's the, um, uh, um, yeah. Or maybe somebody is now kind of downloading the big uh, Ozone Planet file, that kind of thing, so it's <laughs> Yes, people tend to do that during conferences. Um, and um, uh, so, yeah, my internet connection is a little bit, uh, no, not really uh, helpful here. Uh, I hope it's, it's, it's getting a little bit better. Um, but it's, it's that, um, there you are. <laughs> okay, the, the um, Google Maps well, just doesn't work. No, well, yeah, it's, it's, apparently that it, 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 it's the it's the uh, it's the whole idea of uh, we can we can work with it, we can do all kinds of things with it, but. Do imagine or do keep in mind that we have the kind of goal that we want to go to. And we want to make things happen. We want to go there and enjoy the ride or the journey to actually get there. Because it is so much more fun to actually uh, see the journey and, and, and enjoy the journey. It's not about bickering where to go and where not to go, but it's about 
how we end and how we can live uh, or, or believe the uh, end idea. Uh, I hope this time we can take my So after you're done.